In this video, I will show you how to find a data value for one person given the z-score and the mean and the standard deviation of the population. All right, look at this example. In the United States, men's heights have a mean of 69.1 inches and a standard deviation of 2.9 inches. If Stephen's height has a z-score of 1.23, how tall is he? Here is the z-score formula that you need to know. The z-score is equal to an individual person's value minus the mean divided by the standard deviation. So here you go. Now, we are given three out of four of these values, and we are being asked to find the fourth value. So let's just substitute everything into the formula where it goes. So men's heights have a mean of 69.1 inches. All right, so that's the mean, so it's going to go right here in the formula. All right, minus 69.1. The standard deviation is 2.9, so that's going to go right here, 2.9 inches. Um, Stephen's height has a z-score of 1.23. So here's 1.23 would be the z-score. The thing that we're not given is one particular value. In other words, Stephen's height. So that's what we're being asked to find, Stephen's individual height. Um, is the one thing that we're not given. So we just have to solve this problem algebra one style for x. So let's just remember how we solve um, equations like this, like this, not too complicated. You see the denominator. Usually we're going to wind up multiplying by the denominator. That's going to cancel this out. So let's see, 2.9 times 1.23. 2.9 times 1.23. So that's 3.567. So now I've got 3.567 is equal to x minus 69.1. Of course, to get x by itself, I'm going to add 69.1 to both sides. So that should give us our final answer. Okay, look, the 3.567 is already in there, so I'm just going to do plus 69.1. So plus 69.1. Boom! 72.667. And this would round, I'm going to round this to one decimal place, so this would be 72.7. So that should be your final answer. All right, that would be Stephen's height.